Hello friends, you are welcome. This is soft reason. I'm your presenter in this lesson. I will be presenting to you double angle connection. Just like this. Alright, and as well as this one. So let's start. So I want to be providing a beam to connect these two columns and then I'll provide the angle ion to connect the beam just that way okay so uh, for me to connect the beam I will go straight to the steel tab then click on the beam I will activate this uh, settings in the property I'm having a profile beam profile of a 406 by 140 by 46 so I want to edit this profile click on that point and I will navigate to a beam profile five two five four okay i'll go by this one click on apply okay so i'll pick the center of this column at the top and as well as this one to insert the beam just like this i click on this icon to deselect the command the next thing i want to do is i will zoom closely to where i want to place the angle uh double angle uh, brace I want to have a point at the center so I can be able to get the center of this place. So by so doing, I click on the edit, I go to point, then I select at any point. I'll be able to find the center of uh, this uh, stanchion, which is this point. I click to place the point, just like that. You can see. Alright. So after which, I will right click and interrupt. Select the point, double click, and then I want to move this point vertically i'll clear this content vertically in the z direction 200 i'll click on move to move that point click on ok so i'm having this point at this height above the base of the column just like that okay so i want to navigate again to the steel tab you can see here i have to profile here click on it after i click on that i select the point all right i'm having a profile of a RSA 150 by 75 by 10. Okay, so I uh, this will be too big for me. So I click on this point to edit the profile. In the profile dialog, I can come down to 75 by 50 by 8. Click on apply and okay. I pick this point and then I go straight away to look at the center of this beam, which is this point. I click to press D double angle ion just like that you can see so after which i want to change the orientation of this angle i right click interrupt for me to change the orientation of this angle i want it to be facing downward so i select the two angles or i select each one by one the first one and then all the control keys the second one to have the properties here so i'll go straight away to rotation can see it is in front now i want to change it to below and click on modify then i click outside there to deselect this command after which check it you can see it's now turned upside down so now we want to be placing the uh want to be placing the braces uh, the angle uh, the connection all right so for the connection we will be considering a gusset plate so the micro is 11, but actually if you come to application and component and then uh, minimize this one, you can see still uh, minimize this beam to beam connection, come to brace connection, you have this. The micro is 11, click on it. Select the beam and then select the first angle, select also the second angle, click the middle of the mouse to insert uh, just like this, you will have something of this kind. Now, if you look at this, this is not model enough, so just right click and then interrupt the command. Double click on this to have a dialog. Alright, you can use this screen, co screen controller to adjust this uh, the dialog. You move to the way to board one, and then you can be able to provide this to be 20. And then here we are having two boards, and then this person can be uh, 100, and I have still have a 20 here. Okay come to this place you have one in that directions and then we still have 100 here so if you uh, move this upward click on modify to see what you have you have something of this kind right 
So, I mean something of this kind. I think this is somehow model enough. Uh, we want to be increasing this so this way. Uh, this boat can a little bit goes inside. And how do we do that? Uh, we can increase this place. This uh, we can increase this point to be fifty. And then yeah, fifty. Okay, instead of twenty. Okay, so click on modify. Let's see, like this. Okay, I think this is nice enough. All right, so we will go by this uh, settings. So you just click on the apply that. Okay. <clears throat> so after which, you just have to select the all of that. Then right click and then click on copy special linear mirror it. We are going to mirror it to this other end. So clear this content first. Pick this point. Come down. And pick that point. Click on copy. It's been copied to this other directions. And it's copied with that connections. Alright, just like this. So you click on okay. You double click and interrupt. For you to join this together, we we'll still use this bootet go set with micro eleven. So click on it. First of all, deselect this command by clicking on the scene view. Okay, then select the bootet go set plate, select beam. Rotate it in such a way that you can see both angles. Select this first angle, select the second one. Come to this one. This other one, select this one and this one. Click the middle of the mouse to insert the uh to insert the connection. So having have the connection like this, you notice that this one is, is not in order. So you right click interrupt first, select the connection. In the dialog, we move straight away to boat two. This boat two we will be providing this place to be uh fifty. Provide there to be also uh fifty. Okay. You have this point to be uh two boats. You have that to be 100 and for this side we have a uh, one 100 for the boat two okay click on modify and you're having something of this kind all right meaning this one is boat one and this one is boat two okay so this is what you have it click on apply and okay all right you can also double click on the Connections. If you come to boot two, you can as well change the boot size, okay, to twelve, and then the standard you can use the, the tolerance is three, and that's all. Click on modify, and you apply it. Come to boot one, you do the same thing, all right, and also you can do some other uh, some other settings that you think uh, can fit your work. Apply, apply it, just like that. Click on okay. Alright, so we want to be adding a we want to be adding template to this so you just come to this provision and type end plate just like that and so scroll down we'll be considering uh this template we'll be considering this one so you just click on it select this beam and then the the column and the beam you have something of this kind double click interrupt right click and interrupt sorry so double click there you have uh, this uh, dialog go straight to the boat choose the boat that you want to use okay you give it a Lawrence just like that change this place to middle modify you have something of this kind just like this then here you have 50 you're having three boats here yeah? Okay, and then this space between the boats, we are having 100, come to this side, now we have to be 50, also we have 50 as well, this side is two boats, and the space between these boats be 100, or just use towards 50, there, yeah, and this come to this point, use uh, uh, 200, click on modify, we are having a very bigger boat there, yeah. Big, bigger plates reduce that okay modify have something of this kind okay and just change it to maybe 80 or 75 all right so we'll just make it a 90 modify 70 modify 80 modify all right i think this is model enough this is model enough 
check ya oke okay. display supposed to uh, to be properly arranged so up to this point we use this to 157 and click on modify alright so this is okay this is model enough or increase this a little bit just use that 100 okay to have something like this all right i believe this is uh, very nice and it's showing green meaning the connection is okay all right after which you can decide to extend this point depends on what you are uh, doing okay you can proceed to placing it on this other side select the template select this column and the beam insert it just like this all right but the bone of contention of this lesson is the double angle connections that we are fixed okay just like that so this is how you can do this successfully all right so stay tuned for more advanced lesson kindly do well to be liking these lessons and if you have not subscribed hit on the subscribe button so that hit on the subscribe button so that you can be able to get to the file each time i upload a video lessons of this kind and more advanced lessons thanks and bye for now